yes, you read the title correctly. I was given a chance to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero early, and they let me record 30 minutes of my gameplay and bring it back to the channel. Of course, you've got to leave a like and subscribe. This is by far one of the biggest videos I've ever done on this channel, and I'll just let you know right off the bat here. I pretty much just treated this as me trying to learn as much about the game as I could for you guys, so there's going to be a lot of supers going on, a lot of animations, a lot of once I do something once, I kind of stop doing it, and that was specifically to try to maximize the use of my time. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of time in this video. I have another video breaking things down, probably in a more calm manner, but this is just raw reaction to all of the cool stuff we saw as I sit down and watch my own footage again for the first time in a while. With that said, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get to the video reaction. So my very first battle obviously had to be with Gogeta and Broly. I'll let the intro animations work. Look at that. Bro, I was screaming, bro. Look at this Broly animation. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Yes. You Look at this Gogeta. Oh my God. Again, this video is just going to be raw reactions to everything I caught. Maybe I'll break stuff more down uh, in between. Um, but yeah, well, I, was, I was testing out how it controls. And right off the bat, you can see me going for a standard like BT2, BT3 combo that I go for. Um, and surprisingly, this game very similar in its basic offensive standpoint, as in the original buttons are all good. Now, I, I did later find out that I was on, there's two different control schemes, modern and classic. I was on modern here, so I was very, very confused. Um, I think I'll spend the rest of my time playing on classic, but I did struggle extra in this first match. I still, of course, got, I figured, I think I figured it out enough to get all the animations. Broly beam looks really, really good. Also, man, I'm just, I'm watching myself struggle how to move, bro. I was looking at instant transmission. There it is, Stardust Breaker. So I thought that was really cool. The Gogeta hand swipe is actually one of his blast stock abilities, and it acts as a, like, projectile repellent. It also does have a physical hitbox, but it doesn't do much damage from what I remember. But very, very cool. That is one of his blast stock abilities. And then instant transmission. I had to throw in an instant transmission to a basic combo. Here I was testing out if you get, like, um... After that, look, this is my basic combo. And then follow up for the punch, only I dropped it. But still, the basic combo structure, very, very similar. Weave! Oh! Oh, you can't, but you can't see the weave! I was popping off of that, too. Um, so the way this game works is if you dash up close enough, you automatically go behind them. That was also very cool. You can see I'm spamming that ability right now. Um, I couldn't figure out how the blast stock interacted with that stuff. Um, you can see I used one there. Uh, trying to start us breaker. Nice grab by Broly. Again, and then here we get the first clash that I automatically messed up. This is like your standard dash in clash. I did win that one. I, I think I boosted. I'm not too sure. But I uh, dropped my combo again. Man, I'm. Hey, man, come on. I was, lear I was learning, bro. Broly goes in for a nice combo. I, hey, you know, I got to vanish that, though. It's a transmission for two bars. Let me hit the Stardust Blaster on him. Woo! Uh, you can see I did miss there, though. Actually, no, I did hit. My bad. It did hit. I, I took Broly out with that. Don't worry. We didn't see every Gogeta animation there. This I was just stronger. Great outro. We didn't see every Gogeta animation there. I play him later. I just wanted to use him as my learning tool as well. I, we play him later with a lot of more stuff. Now, surprisingly, one of the best animations in the entire game had to be on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm not this even going to spoil it. God feels pretty I'm not even going to spoil it. You'll see. You'll know what animation I'm talking about. I'm not sure why I picked base Broly again. I guess I just didn't know who to go up against. I was very focused on Broly. That was probably a mistake for my 30 minutes. But still, still learning the controls. I think I finally switched to classic. You can see I, I understand what to do now. And I'll just say now, the AI throwing key blast while I was trying to see these animations was making me angry. Here it is. This is the animation right here. Spoilers. Ugh. Twin Dragon Fist. Behind the back, Super Saiyan 3. Oh, it looks so good, dude. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was losing my mind. I was losing my mind. It is very, very cool. I will say, if anybody wants me to be quiet during those cutscenes, the reason I'm not, and I'm not saying that I maybe couldn't, but they specifically wanted to make sure that we weren't just posting raw gameplay. We were posting our commentary and reactions and, and, and changing uh, how we see the gameplay. So here, obviously, I'm going for my ultimate. Broly's... I didn't know what he was doing. I'm not going to lie. He scared me, bro. That's why I ran around. I was like, what was that? He's got a little combo. I was trying to see if burst mode's in the game where you can just get an unlimited combo. I think it was. If I don't, who, if will? I don't who will? You know I had to check the dragon face. Look at the graphics, man. Oh my god, this game looks very beautiful in the cutscenes. Look at this dragon fist. Oh my god. Nah, you, you don't understand. I was cheesing, bro. And of course, I also had to bring along. They let us do tag battles up to three characters each. In the full game, you're going to be able to do up to five. But 
Atomic Blast there. Majin Vegeta looks very, very good. Take out Broly. And you know I had to make it canonical. Throw a little Majin Buu on here. We all know what I'm trying to do. Let's 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 not even hide the fact that I was waiting for my my ultimate. Boo's doing some normal combos here. Very very cool stuff. I'm dashing in again. It it does feel like there's a lot more system mechanics at play. You can see I'm using utilizing that dash behind feature. Um, try to go for a sweep. Got blocked there. Um, there's my sweep again. There's my pop up. And here you can really tell the the OG BT2 BT3 and another clash feature. Um, this one was the sim same one as before. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. Never figured out the clash on the fly. I feel like every time I did it, it, the next time, I wouldn't be ready for it. So I couldn't always win. Especially this game had so many new clashes like that. I capture, I think, three different kinds. Okay, so I was in burst. I'm trying to figure out what you can do to maximize damage in burst. Weather changes are always going to happen. You can see the skies darken when somebody's in. Very raging blast ass. And here it is. Well, Trunks. And even you, Kakarot. Very sick. Look at this guy go. I feel like they captured the buff Majin Vegeta look a lot better than I've seen in any other Dragon Ball game. Not gonna lie. Um, so there, final atonement. We fall, but because we have that one sliver of health left, I actually win. And we get the outro. And here I was hoping you'd be a lot tougher than that. Obviously very, very sick. That's going to do it for that battle, though. And we're going straight into the next one. Very big in this match. I want you to pay attention to all the dialogue. Congratulations on fulfilling your dream of becoming a scholar, Gohan. You should be proud. This game has some of the best character dialogue I've ever heard. I appreciate that, Trunks. But sad to say, that's also how I got so rusty. I'd love to do a little training with you. That's not even the best dialogue there is. Very unique character interactions in Sparking Zero, and you can expect a lot cooler from that as well. Now, in this game, I think I also struggled with the controls a bit. I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if I remember correctly. Trying out the charge key blast. You still do have the sword slice with trunks. Very, very cool. Dash up attacks. You know I gotta hit the teleport combos. AKA I got sent back by Gohan. But very cool stage. I think this was the Kai's map. I'm not too sure. I could go back and check. Now I'm checking out the D form transformation. We go right back into Super Trunks. Looks sick. I will say, on, on Super Trunks is the only complaint you're going to hear from me throughout this entire thing. It was the only thing I wasn't sure I was 100% sold on. And it does have to do with the beautiful animations. Specifically, this version of Trunks, Lightning Sword Slash, which I think I do right now. Oh no, I wanted to power up and see the ultimate. My bad. Look at this transformation though. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll hold my one complaint until we actually get to it. So we have to check out Final Hope Slash, right? Immediately, we've got to check that out. Seeing if the burst combo is still in the game, it pretty much is. So I'm like, all right, let's just go into a combo here. Nine hits, make it 10. Final Hope Slash. Jump back into the spirit bomb. Ooh. It looks so sick. They're lucky Zamasu wasn't in the playable version I was checking out, man. I was looking for him. Here's the Gala Gun. Looks good. We actually do land the KO on Gohan there. I forget who comes out next. Oh, Beerus, of course. It's got it got to be Beerus, bro. You know, you know what really hurts is knowing how much of this time I wasted trying to learn the controls, man. Oh, but after this match, I studied the control screen, bro, cuz I I realized I was wasting so much of my precious time. Here we go. This is Lightning Sword Slash. Very, very cool animation, but I feel like for a normal skill, the animation is just slightly too long. That was it. That was my only complaint. You can see it's still going. We land it, but I think this all costs like three bars. I feel like if you want to, you could just spam this in a normal match and it would just take forever. So that's my only complaint. I feel like that animation um, is a little too long. Don't get me wrong. One of my favorite animations, uh, but normal skill. I, I just don't know if it should take that long. That was it though. Other than that, beautiful animation, beautiful game. See, we look under the floor there a little bit. Uh, that's not really a big deal. It's just camera angles and where I was standing and where he was flying. I think I wanted to check out Wild Sense and everything else. Or I might have wanted to just go back into my full form. Beerus kind of got combos the whole on. I really love the animation for when you stop yourself from flying away in this game. You'll notice you just like key wave up and stop yourself. Very sick. Also, the speed of the game is very fast. It's a lot of fun. Key wave combo. I, you know, I had to check out another route. Again, I dropped it. But if you've played the BT2 games or BT3 recently, you probably are going to know a decent... You're going to know a little bit going into this game. All you have to learn is the new system mechanics and, like, meter and stuff. Damn, he parried me. I had to, I had to get back. Here's again with another combo. This game... This, this match was kind of a wash after this. I'm not going to lie. 
Oh, he powered up to the very limit. That was sick. So the, the, again, the skies are going to darken. We're going to see the environment change here a little bit as uh, Beerus gets ready to hit me with the guy, which I let myself get hit by, by the way. I did block it. Oh, into the solar flare. Look at the way the aura swirls around. I thought that was so sick. But the, the earth is just torched beneath where he did that. Now we're going to land a basic Masenko. You'll see in this game one thing. Okay, maybe I do have another complaint. In this game, when you're charging your beam, instead of your character like rotating to face your opponent, they'll stay still and the beam will kind of try to curve to make up that difference. I'm not sure I like. I like the old way of turning a little bit better. And then once you fire it, it's just a straight projectile. But more time with that will kind of determine how I feel. And here we do another sword slash. This is where I was like, I don't know, man. This animation a little long. I don't even think it, this hits. So you can see there's a lot of the animation before it even connects. So see, yeah, I just, I pretty much just put a timeout on the match. So we did end things with Beerus. I made sure to study the controls after this one, make sure I always played on classic, but. I've made something super delicious that'll knock your socks off. Would you please forgive us? Again, very important to focus on all the dialogue. And then I have some sick dialogue coming up next. Here it is. Listen to this dialogue. I know how to handle rampaging animals. Oh my god! Why do they let 17 have that hard of a line against Great Ape Vegeta? Obviously, he says something generic, but he looks super sick in this game. I had to check out. I had to see how he looked in this game, obviously. And 17 making reference to that he's a, like an animal ranger, bro. That was too sick. Also, some of my favorite animations in the game. I can confirm that Android characters do not get to charge key. Like Budokai Tenkaichi always. I had to check out Android Barry as well. A lot cooler in this game than the old series. So you see, I was trying to charge key. Nope. Works the same way old Android stuff do. We see an attack from a uh, great eight Vegeta. He does land it for 8K, kind of crazy. And he just looks so cool, dude. Very menacing. Um, so two old BT things I can confirm. Androids cannot charge energy and great apes and giant characters cannot be hit by all rush attacks. So I learned that with high power blitz, I believe. But 17 was probably one of my favorite characters. He's super cool to see the Dragon Ball Super version of him. And also just very cool that he has so many sick lines. Oh no, I remember I learned it the worst way possible. I tried to I tried to hit Android 17's barrier explosion new ultimate on him, but it just doesn't work on great apes. I do hit it later in, in, in this, so don't do not worry. We do not miss this animation. Oh, he looks so sick too, only to be rejected by him. It was so sad, man. So that's why I switched out into my Go Yamcha. You know I had to. We got the Kamehameha. He's just going to sit there and tank that. Has to block. Looks great. The verticality when going up against a great ape in this game does look a lot better. I feel like it's the camera angles panning down so that you can see just how big of a character this guy is. He dashes behind me. I think I try to dash behind him now. Oh, no. The grab. Yamcha, get out of there. I just get spiked to the ground, but I'm going to stop myself, fire that key wave. And then I was like, hey, great apes, you know, they can stop a lot, but can he stop spirit ball? Can he stop spirit ball? I wanted to make sure I got up in close. You can do the insta dash close. Look at this animation. Ugh. I wasn't sure if I could bring it back or not. It did do 17K just flat. So I thought that might be the end of the move, uh, but I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I got to do it again. So I can't be sure you can't bring it back. So I swapped out into Krillin right away. I had to see how Krillin was looking. Scatter energy wave, actually pretty good in this game. Boom, you can see it tracks. So only one bullet ended up missing. And, and I think that's because he just died. Kid Gohan was up next. The reason I did Kid Gohan, I'm not even sure if I can talk about, so I won't. But let's just say the way you pick characters in this game, I thought it was funny picking Great Ape and Kid Gohan next to each other. So sorry, I can't talk about that, but it's like one of the few things I can't. So unfortunately for Kid Gohan, he's going to be the recipient of Chain Destructo Disc after I get up close. And oh, wait, he kind of he kind of fighting. Let me get my burst move. He does spend a little of the counter, but you got plenty of time. You got plenty of time. Here we go. Destructo Disc. It's looking good, too. Wide open. We, of course, have a few of them. Already does big damage. And then this made me pop off, bro. What is this? The Ultra Destructo Disc. Nah, he's got to be sweating now. Can't dodge the final one if you get hit by the beginning. Um, but after this, I was like, all right, well, it's Android 17 time again. Let your brother-in-law handle this. And did you hear that? He said, let your brother-in-law handle that. I was like, no, I was cheesing, bro. Let your brother-in-law handle this? How much How much audio did they give these characters? Of course, Gohan didn't have that much health left, so I did want to make sure I got the barrier explosion. So we're going to zip on over to him, catch up in a flash. 
I get comboed on because I have no idea how to play defense. Get grabbed. I was getting pissed, bro. Every time I got hit, I got nervous. But here's the barrier explosion ultimate. Looks really cool. If you land it, big punch. Dash in with the grab. Just like the T.O.P., baby. Oh! Damn, that animation was so sick. And that's what's going to end this battle for us here. Sorry if I hurt you. Hope you're all right. Too sick. Android 17, too cold in this game. That was a really fun match. Yeah! Oh my god, I was popping off. I had to, I was getting close to the end of my playtime. I had to go with Goku Blue. You're not getting away with this. After I'm through with you, you better not do anything evil again. He's too cool, man. I went with Goku Blue, Vegeta God, and then um, uh, Mr. Satan. <laughs> I think I believe that was what I did. I'm, I'm not too sure actually, but here I was just trying to play a little bit normal check out You know the gods and stuff like that. Although this is where I end up going a little crazy No hard feelings the dash and punch. Oh It's too sick. He's too cold with it. He is too cold uh, So that was no hard feelings hit and then you also have God Kamehameha Which if I could find I mean, the aura in this game just looks beautiful, dude Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan this might be the best that's ever looked in a game. Ah, uh, well, other than fighters, obviously, but this is, it looks so good, especially the blue aura charge up. So here we have the God Kamehameha. You'll see very long animation, but it looks so good. We saw this one all the way back in the OG trailer. I had to run it back. Only this time it's the full version. Oh. We absolutely blow Frieza away. So, the way ultimates work in this game, we can see we're not on normal Namek, but the way ultimates work is that on different stages, you'll actually get some different animations. So, we saw on Namek that if you miss, you can still blow it up into this form we see here. And the World Tournament, if you land an ultimate, they'll actually play a whole sick animation of the crowd evacuating before the ultimate can go off. Uh, very, very cool. Again, I did not get to capture that personally, though. So we're going up against Android 17 here, and here's where I actually make a mistake and or the best decision of my life. I was looking at the transformations, and then I saw that there was a fusion option because I was running Vegeta. And this is where I can confirm, at least in this build, you did not need to be the same form or power level to fuse. Vegeta was definitely in God before he came out leading me to see the Gogeta fusion animation. And this is where we get to see all of the sick animations Gogeta's been hiding from us. Such as the super explosive wave looks so much better in this game than ever before in series history. I didn't land it, but it looks so cool. I had to give it, I had to give that busted move a shot. And then of course, after seeing those, we had to go ahead, power up into Super Saiyan itself. Another very sick animation. And he has some some very cool stuff himself. Like the rising vortex. Ugh! Tell me this isn't clean. Ooh, that's it, the rising vortex. You know I had to hit that spin move on him. Great reaction shots from the AI as well. Dash behind, you're gonna see that anime flare. I'm getting pieced up by 18 though, I can't even lie. I had my fun in Super Saiyan though. I, I, I needed to see that one animation and I was good. Here comes the blue transformation sequence. And here's another boost mechanic. I wasn't sure what this one was asking me to do. Not gonna lie. It looks super sick though. I just didn't know what kind of mechanic I was dealing with. I feel like if I got it again, I would have been able to do it. Here's meteor explosion. Didn't get to see this one earlier, but we landed. it. This is probably my favorite animation in the game. Can't lie. Ugh, ugh, big punch. Look at the scream. Too sick. Too sick. <laughs> Of course, we also have Stardust Barrier, which I believe I do, like, right now. As soon as I can, I think I do it. Oh, no, I'm going for the ultimate. I, I was not messing around. Android Barrier from 18, so it is green for her, too. Oh, man. It's over, 18! She actually dodged it, so that was a little depressing, can't lie. I'm not sure if there's a follow-up. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm mentally torturing myself. I don't know if there was a follow-up after. Uh, probably, most likely not. But here we go. I just went back to base just to hit some new combos. Android barrier from 18 again. I think I was just trying to end it. Oh, no. Was this was this the end? Oh, no. This was the end. So what was happening right now, I just got to Bergamo, too. I was just fighting Bergamo. This was the last thing I needed to see. I needed to let Bergamo style on me. And they said, all right, time's up. Time's up. And so all I could do was put the controller down. You can see I'm still trying to cheese out some time, right? Like I'm like, 
Time's up? What does that mean? Do I so like what do what do you want me to do? Time's up? So like can I charge or like and then I, they were like, yeah, but just pause the game. I, I was cooked, bro. There was no way out. That was the end of my time with Sparking Zero and just about everything I had captured. I had Hercule on my team. I wanted to see the Hercule animations, but I couldn't get it done. Hopefully though, you guys did like what you saw. I had a great time. I'm gonna be breaking this footage down in bigger and bigger ways. So stay subscribed to the channel. Also gonna be reacting to tons of more stuff and playing Sparking Zero when we all finally get our hands on it when it releases. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. I have been Dada Doya. I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, bye.